Well, today I uh, took down my Christmas lights. Was gonna work on the station wagon, was gonna work on the Trino. Um, th something I've been putting off for a while and I decided to do today was um, do a data log on the Focus. And uh, then I can send it back to get my tune tweaked a little bit. And again, I didn't do it for um, high performance because I mean, it's a two liter Ford Focus with a automatic. Um, I did it so that I would have a little bit better control over the um, over the transmission. So, with that being said, I'm going to walk you through the steps of doing this data log. Hopefully, I get it right. Um, and the guy that I bought it from said to use my laptop rather than the uh, actual unit to do the data logging. So, if this sounds interesting to you, stick around. Well, I did a whole bunch of research. I'm plugged in, in the laptop. Um, now I am going to open the software, which is Live Link Gen 2. There we go. And then going to click on that as I don't want to update the device I want to data log the vehicle it says plug in a USB and to both of them so I'm going to plug a the USB into my handy dandy X4 BAM there, it's plugged in. It's plugged into the OBD2, so now I hit next. This is connect to the OBD2. I have done that. Next. Start the engine. Okay, it's started. Next. Check communication. We're checking because the process may take some time. Okay, it's done. It's found the car, hit the vehicle information. Then it's, I think it's, I'm supposed to hit the validate previously selected. And then it uploads that. Device files. Aye, aye, aye. Load config. Yes. And then I gotta go to desktop. I think this is the config right there that I got from my tuner. Hit OK. And he's got 30 selected out of the 38 possible. So I hit configure data log. And there we go. And now I can, can start the configure with the start data log and we're data logging so there we go we are data logging all it took was like a half an hour of research and now we it's been idling but I'm gonna let it idle for a couple minutes before we take off um, you don't really need to see that but as you can see I'm definitely data logging yippee I need a um, degree in rocket science but you know such as a such as the uh, 
deal. So he said to let it idle, warm up, whatever, for five minutes, and then cruise for five minutes, which is I'm gonna cruise out to where I can do a third gear pull and not get in trouble with the popo. And uh, then uh, we'll go from there, but I'm glad it's, uh, it's, uh, it's data logging, so. I'm going to stop right here, go tell my wife I'm leaving, and uh, I'll be back, and then we'll get rolling. All right, we're doing our five-minute cruise, and uh, we'll see how this all turns out, but uh, try not to back up into the ditch. Boom, the ditch. Hopefully, uh, I got my GPS and my camera recording and I'm logging, data logging. And we'll see how this all works out. And hopefully it'll be a small enough file that I can send it to my tuner. So, here we go. Hopefully, everything's recording. So we're doing our five minute cruise. I'm going to do a time lapse, see how that works. All right, we're out in the middle of Mexico, and I'm going to do the acceleration run in third gear. All right, we're out in the middle of Mexico, and I'm going to do the acceleration run in third gear from 2,000 to 6,000 RPM. So here we go. First... Second, third, I guess I'll do another one, because I think it downshifted, I don't know how to get it to stay in third gear. to 6,000 RPM. So here we go. First, second, third. I guess I'll do another one because I think it downshifted. I don't know how to get it to stay in third gear. There's third. It downshifts and I can't keep it in second or third gear. So I guess he's going to have to live with what I gave him. So I can't do anything other than that. Traction control off on this thing. Traction control, that's not it. Clock. Man, how do you do that? That's not right if you can't turn the traction control off.
after sending the data log to my tuner, he just emailed me back a tune and I'm going to update it right now and then I'm going to drive it for a couple weeks. But hopefully this is the last update of the tune. And if you're asking, it, it has improved the shifting a little bit and I can definitely see or feel an improvement in the performance. So, um, you know, I don't know if it's worth what I paid for it, but it's helping. So here we go. All right, so here we go. I've got it plugged into the OBD2 port down there, as I've shown you before. And uh, we're gonna program. So I went to the program vehicle and it says continue. It says turn on the key and hold the engine start button. Okay, do not start. So we're gonna. All right, I've done that. Hit continue. Um, the one I put on here has no description, so I thought I put it in for the custom tune, but um, evidently I did not rename it. So there we go. We're now in the exciting part of doing the tune and there we go with the strategy it continue you know turn the ignition key off or disconnect the device ECU is downloading the tune I think you need to watch this. More boring stuff. I'll pause it until this is over. Continuing with the TCU transmission control unit. So it's been successfully done. So now I need to turn the vehicle off. Oops. So now I'm back to the main menu. I am uh, with that. It didn't take too long. I'm gonna go to gauges for a while. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, you know, if you keep finding this stuff interesting, please. Uh, continue to watch and subscribe. I appreciate it and have a great day.